Hi, I'm Claren Cowie. I work at the Yale University Porvoo Center for Teaching and Learning. Today, I will explain how to use Canvas discussions for asynchronous activities. Let's get started. Open up your course site from the Canvas dashboard. Mine is pre-created sample, so it may look a little different from your course. From the course navigation, click Discussions, and it will take you to the Discussions page. To create a new discussion board, click on the plus discussion button at the top right. Name your discussion in the topic field. And in the rich content editor, add a description of the topic. You can add links, files, and images on the left hand side and it will appear in the rich content editor. You can also add files separately as an attachment in the area below. By default, the discussions is posted to all sections. However, you can change who you share it with for sections by clicking on the box and select the section you want to share to. We will leave this as all sections. If you scroll down, you'll see more options and discussions are a focus thread where students can only reply to the main topic. To allow students to reply to each other, click allow thread of replies. To make students answer the topic before seeing each other's replies, click users must post before seeing replies. Enable podcast feed enables a link that allows students to follow in a podcast feed. For graded activities, click graded and it will give you options similar to that of an assignment. To allow all participants to like replies, click allow liking. For ungraded activities that you would like to add to students to do list, click add to student to do. If you have set up groups in the people tool, you can make a discussion a small group activity by clicking this is a group discussion. Select from the group set the groups that you would like to assign this to. To delay posting a discussion board, you can set the available date from and students will not be able to reply prior to the set date even if the discussion is posted. To set a close date on the discussion board, set an until date. Otherwise, the discussion board will be open indefinitely. With the options set, we are now ready to save and publish. Saving will take you to the newly created discussion board. Let's now go back to the discussion page. You can see the newly created discussion board is listed under discussions and the students cannot reply to it until the set date has passed. You can pin important weekly discussions or ongoing discussions such as this Q&A by clicking on the three dot icon and clicking pin. This will bring it to the top and let students know that this third thread is of some importance. As you can see, I have already created a sample discussion. On the right hand side, I can see the number of unread replies in the dark blue and the number of total replies in the light blue. Clicking on the title will take me into the discussion itself. This discussion already has two replies to the main topic and one threaded reply. You can like a reply by clicking on the thumbs up icon. Up at the top, in the blue bar, it indicates that this is a graded activity. To grade the discussion, click on the three dot icon at the top right and go to Speed Grader. This opens a new tab to the Speed Grader interface where you can see the individual student's reply. In the right panel, you can give them a grade and submit private feedback. You can navigate to the next student by clicking on the top right button and you can go back and forth. This concludes the basics of using Canvas discussions for asynchronous activities. Thank you for watching and listening. The Porvoo Center has developed a library of 
digital recordings and resources, so we encourage you to search for other helpful information on our website.